I'm not trying to convince Danny to do something she doesn't want to do. So Bobby's advice comes into the equation where? Well, I thought that if Danny does want to do it, but she's just nervous or something, he could tell me what to do. So she isn't. One of your four's got a serious track record with the ladies. Ooh, yeah, he does. Hey, Nathaniel. For some reason, you and James are discussing my sex life. Okay, all right, easy done. One, we were actually talking about our own sex life, so. Oh, really? Yep, or lack thereof. Oh, I get it, I get it. So you wanna take it to the next step with Danny? Is that it? Well, we talked about it, but I don't think she's ready. Well, if you want my two cents worth, and I've, uh, I've learned the hard way. If something's worth having, it's worth waiting for, right? But it's easy for me to say. My wait ends tonight, boys. <laughs> oh, hey. That's right. Uh, Star came by earlier about those plans you wanted her help with. Plans? Something about Capricorn? Oh, yeah, I just saw her. Did you know she went to see Cole today? You know, I think the person you're being unfair to is yourself. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about your big night and help you get ready for it. Okay, so okay. outfits, check. Reservations, confirmed, check. And condoms, check. Although I think Ford's going to be bringing his own because he's had to wait for like three months. <laughs> I cannot believe that he's lasted this long. He has seriously surprised me these past few months. <laughs> I know. I mean, he's actually stepped up and proved that he wants a real relationship and not just sex. He even got that job so he could make tonight really special. <laughs> he even wore that hot dog suit, <laughs> which I must say is karma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was really nice of him to help you watch Hope, though. Sorry, you should have seen him with her. He was so amazing. I'm really happy for you. Seems like you and Ford are the only ones that can actually have a normal uncomplicated relationship. So, wait, Star saw Cole today? Yeah, she went to Statesville. <sighs> Some way to spend your Valentine's Day. Oh, that's why she seems so scattered. It's probably pretty hard for her every time she says goodbye to him. I think this time is a little harder than others. But maybe she'll tell you about it sometime. Um, I'm gonna get ready to go. At least someone's getting lucky tonight. I'm thinking of teaching myself poker. Oh, yeah, to keep yourself distracted. Distracted? From wanting to do it with Danny. Dude, what are you gonna do on Valentine's Day? Well, I had plans with Michelle, but now. Hey, guys, stay up for a second. Which one? That one. You both are useless. Thank you. I'll be in the shower. So, what about you? Any plans? I know what I'm not going to be doing. Come on. Oh, I'm glad you're still here. Okay, come on in. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'll give you guys privacy. <laughs> and I have things to talk about. Hey, is Ford here? Yeah, he's getting ready for his date. Why? Because I just found out that he's the father of my cousin Jessica's baby. So, what do you think? Oh, I think he's not going to be able to make it past the appetizers. Yeah, well, that's the plan. <laughs> Star, I'm really sorry that this night didn't turn out the way that you thought it would. I still can't believe that Michelle and James are serious. I'm serious enough that I don't want to get between them. I just want to get it out of my head, okay? Because I don't want to be home thinking about James while he's out with another girl. Say that again? Ford, your brother is the father of Jessica Brennan's baby. But, but I know that there was a paternity no, test. No, it was doctored. How do you know? Apparently, it all came out at Jessica's Shh. wedding today. All this crazy stuff went down, and it's going to be all over the news if my father has anything to say about it. I can't believe this. Are, are you sure, Danny? Ford's a hey, father. Hey, James, you used all the body scrub. Oh. 
Hey, Danny, what's up? 